What's going on guys, this is CH and welcome back to video number 19 and you guys are all awesome if you have made it this far. So in this video I want to talk about the file that we created called connect.php right here and I want to show you guys something that we can do with our database, something that could potentially make things a lot easier like if we ever plan on changing our server or our username or our password we can do that by creating another file and it's going to make our pages uh, our lot future web pages to come a lot easier so do you guys remember constants they're kind of just like variables like how we can set a value to something except for the fact that they do not vary and we call them a little bit differently so see all this information right here like our server obviously we're on localhost our username which is root and then we did not set a password well we're gonna we're gonna move all this information. So I'm gonna go ahead and create another file, and I'm gonna set. Let's go ahead and create another file, and I'll go ahead and save it right now. <clears throat> to our includes folder, and I'll just go ahead and call this constants. Um, dot php. Okay, so let's go ahead and create some constants. And again, this is all for, I mean, this isn't all for security information. And we're going to talk more about HT access and then in the next videos to come. But it's, you know, if we ever want to make a change or something, we can create or add or, or edit anything right here from our constants.php page. So let's go ahead and I'll make a comment that this is our database constants okay so let's go ahead and create some not variables but constants so we're gonna use the PHP punch function of define and we're gonna go ahead and remember with constants we have to use uppercase and if it's two words you gotta use the underscore so try to get used to that nope so we're gonna set our local host we're going to set the constant db underscore server to the value of localhost and we'll close that out and let's go ahead and define user and it was just root because we never set the username and the password we're just going off the default uh, the defaults from XAMPP and let's go ahead db password I'll just give it two quotations because we didn't set it to anything and then what are we missing now? Oh, our database name nope define db underscore name and our database name was called Sterling. Let me look at this. That looks good. Quotations, comma, quotations, password. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. Now let's go back to our connect.php page. And let's go ahead and. Oh, I got a phone call. Okay, let's go ahead and pull in our constants.php page that we just created. So I'm going to drop down one or two or three it doesn't matter and let's go ahead and pull that in using the PHP function of require and we don't have to do includes this time like that because we're already inside the includes folder because that's where we saved our um, what do we call this constants.php file to we saved it to our includes folder so it's already in the same directory so let's just go to constants.php let's go ahead and close this out and now let's use the constants that we just created. So for localhost, and we don't need to use quotations this time around. And it is, what was it, db server it was db user db pass. And then last but not least, db underscore name. Okay, let's go ahead and save this. Let's open up in our browser. Let's 
Hope that everything works. Yeah, everything stayed the exact same. So we sourced in, we created that new file, and we sourced in all of the information and data perfectly. So let's go to our constants.php page. So say we had like, the reason for this is pretty much for security purposes. So all of our password and information and any key to the city that we need to get into our database is we can change it right here. Like say we had like a, a professional server or, you know, we were going to go into a production server and we were going to get off localhost. So we could just add that information right here and all of our web pages would now read it. So hopefully you guys followed along and you understand the constants and uh, we're ready to go into the next video. All right, guys, good luck.